The world of golf as we know it is changing. And no, I'm not just talking about everything going on between the PGA Tour and Live Golf, but the way audiences are consuming the product with the rise of golf content creators. I think the pandemic for sure, just more people playing golf, um, more and more people started making YouTube videos. I also think what's happened in the pro game, I think a lot of people are like disillusioned with the pro game. Um, the product hasn't really changed for 30, 40 years. But change is on its way. There's a lot of kids who don't really watch TV. They, there's so much content on YouTube that that's their primary way that they watch things and, and so you, you want to meet them where they are. People are so online, I think, especially younger kids, that it makes it uh, more relevant, I want to say, than maybe if your parents just are trying to stick you in front of a TV, you can kind of interact a little bit more with what players are doing and make it fun and funny. As some of the younger faces in golf coverage, Claire Rogers of Golf.com and Daniel Rappaport of Barstool Sports are using certain techniques to grab different audiences like memes and funny videos that you can kind of repurpose. It's kind of, I think about it as like a crossroads between golf and pop culture, and that seems to be really relatable. We kind of call rat brain in our group chat, which is like, okay, someone is scrolling their screen and you have one second maybe to catch their attention. So you got to flash and it's got to be something that'll draw them in. But then we also have um, the YouTube channel, which we can you know, air basically movies that are an hour and 45 minutes long. But if you look at the numbers that, that the videos that, you know, not just us, but all the other people in the space do, uh, it's huge. And, you know, you, you can't deny where the eyeballs are, where the momentum is. I think it's, it's cool that the tour is kind of slowly but surely understanding what we're doing and hopefully uh, move forward productively because I think it, I think a rising tide lifts all ships when it comes to golf. Dan Rappaport also mentioned that the PGA Tour's next media rights deal will likely look a bit different since they will have to expand coverage to not just broadcast television, but other platforms as well if they really want to reach these new and younger audiences. Reporting, Shaz Barani, First Coast Sports.